This hateful little creature is Bertie. The term pet hate was actually coined by this animal because it hates everything. It hates you, it hates me, it hates everything. Except chicken. It loves chicken. And Bertie is the reason that my parents swore they would never get a Robovac. Not because he'd hate it. When he first met my mum, she tried to love him and he bit her on the face. He literally hates anything that is placed in front of him. The reason they didn't want a Robovac is because they think it will not pick up the dog hair. And for every Robovac I've seen to date, they'd be right. So today's challenge is to get my mom to stop doing this and to start doing this. Thanks to Yuffie for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their X8 Robovac. This is the most powerful robot vacuum I have ever been sent because it's the first time I have seen twin turbines able to draw 2,000 pascals each. This means it literally sucks twice as hard as my Roborock S5 Max. Hang on, there's a sex joke in there somewhere. Sucks twice as hard as... Suck you. UNSUBSCRIBE! The Ufi X8 has LiDAR room mapping, a 5200 milliamp battery which can apparently run for 180 minutes, Boost IQ technology that will automatically adjust the suction depending on what surface it's running on, and a high efficiency air purifying filter that maximizes the use of its very large dustbin box. I had a look at their advert. It's the most dramatic commercial I have ever witnessed. It shows children making a mess in slow motion to the kind of bass drop you'd expect from a Michael Bay Transformers movie. And then the vacuum sees all this and is like, not on my watch. And the dramatic music swells to full Batman as dust and hair is vanquished. In real life, of course, it does this. So let's see if this really is Batman, or if it just plain sucks. Is that, is that a good lead into this section? Shut up, Wesley. Once upon a time, I did a review of a Robovac, and having watched a more professional YouTube channel scatter a bag of salt into a controlled area for it to sweep up, I launched a bag of sugar all over my kitchen. Sugar and salt are not the same thing, and I killed it dead. Look at that. Turn it into sludge. Ah, uh, hell. What have I done? Dumb idea. I'm gonna get my ass absolutely kicked. Look at the state! Oh no! Oh gosh! Why? I turned my kitchen floor into some kind of wet, gluey water park for ants, in what is now known as the Sugargate scandal. So this time I made myself a little assault course and used a more controlled substance in a more controlled manner. The X8 doesn't give a toss about my assault course and immediately nosed the roller out of the way, though it did spare my bottle of wine and like all Robovax, took a few goes to get all the Rice Krispies off the floor because the floor is slippy. Then I tried crushing some Rice Krispies into a thin pile carpet, but the X8 made mincemeat of that too. It was at this point that I realized I'd had it on princess mode this whole time. <laughs> Eat my carpet mode! That's much louder! It was clear, therefore, that my house was no match for this vacuum, and I needed a bigger challenge. The hateful dog produces a hateful amount of fur, and Mum's carpet is notoriously clingy. Mum has a full-blown industrial-strength melee vacuum and it is so strong that it can pull the carpet away from the underlay and still not get all the Bertie out of it. So because I like to destroy every Robovac I've been sent, I decided to stamp as much hate-filled Bertie into that carpet as humanly possible. I started the vacuum on its lowest setting to see how much it would pick up on pure mode and it actually did a reasonable job considering the amount of Bertie that was in the carpet. So there was only one thing for it. 
sweet my carpet mode. There's another sex joke in there somewhere. Get to the point. So I ran the vacuum another three times on full blast and the results were actually astounding. It's unbelievably clean. I've never seen this carpet so clean. That is incredibly impressive. There's barely a hair on it. Well done, Yuffie. Mum now wants this robo back and I'm gonna give it her because I'm just way too good of a son. So my dad comes home at this point, calls me white collar scum and tells me to get a real job, and then points at the Robovac and says, look at it, sucking at the teat of electricity. I think the insinuation was that the Robovac should also get a real job. I don't know, my dad is probably insane. But whatever the case, my dad then starts watching it going up and down and he suddenly changes his tune because I don't think anybody expected it to suck quite this hard. Guy really gone. It comes with a set of instructions, and I'm not entirely sure why. It comes with a spare whizzer, a spare filter, and twin jet engines. And finally, it comes with a prison shank for murdering your enemies. I'm reliably informed by my legal counsel that it is not, in fact, a prison shank but is in fact a small blade for cutting the hair out of the rotating brush. This vacuum can be run on a schedule. It can also be started using she that should not be named. Let's turn on Robovac. Okay. Start cleaning. You can store maps for not only different rooms, but also for different floors of your house. You can then use tap and go to send the vacuum to a particular part of your house, or use spot cleaning to tell it to start from a particular location, or even use zone cleaning where you can drag a square over an area to tell it to clean that section specifically. I watched Jerry Rig Everything's review of this vacuum. My channel sponsor Anchor has sent over a little gift for us, to help make cleaning up around the house a little easier. Do you want to hear my Jerry Rig Everything impression? You're going to anyway. I'm very calm, pleasant, and muscular. Everything I say makes you feel more at ease. I could tell you the world was ending tomorrow, and you would feel better about it because I'd use this voice. And he uses it when his wife brushes her tiny horse, which lives in their house. One thing that I like is the pet hair pickup on the X8 has improved by over 57% from previous models. We don't have any dogs or cats, but we do have a miniature horse that has a lot of hair. It also has Boost IQ that will recognize what type of surface it is on to decide whether to provide more or less suction. You can use manual mode to remote control the vacuum entirely. And the setup process was so simple that I didn't even have to touch the vacuum when setting it up in the app. It just immediately found it and connected it to my Wi-Fi network. It then insists that I place the charging dock up against a wall, which I totally did didn't quite rebellious. And it then started mapping my rooms using LiDAR, and at one point threatened to end it all. Oh god, <laughs> I did not like that. It uh, won't kill itself, don't worry. Before I summarize, I just want to say that I saw another review of this vacuum, and one of the commenters said, does it automatically detect dog turds? And the reviewer answered, it depends how big the dog turd is. That is one big pile of shit. No, it won't. It's going to paint your house brown. This is the most fully featured vacuum that I've seen to date. My mom watched it going up and down the room for a whole afternoon and then said, when is it gonna run out of battery? And when I checked in the app, it was still at 50%. The dust trap is the biggest I have seen on any vacuum that I have tried, and the exhaust port is the widest, which means it is the least prone to clogging. 
I know I've joked a lot, but seriously, I have never seen a vacuum this powerful. My mum is absolutely over the moon and it actually brings joy to my heart to watch her watching a little vacuum do its thing. I can't wait to give it to her at the end of this week. If you're in the same boat as my mum and you've got a particularly hairy beast living in your house, this is the vacuum for you. I am not kidding. I never thought for one second it would get all of that dog out of that thick pile carpet. A few runs round, it did. Yuffie also do a hybrid mop and vac, but chose for some reason not to send me that one. It's an irreparable That's sense. That's uh, It won't go back in. That should have been removed. That should have been removed. Oh, it's like glue. As usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick those vacuums up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon. They've heard this speech about 600 billion times because they've been supporting me for ages. They're the best people in the world and without them, this channel would not exist. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Easy grin. All oh, the haters gonna hate me because this episode was way too cartoony. <laughs> Stupid idiot. I am very calm, pleasant, and muscular. <laughs> so let's see. That's actually a clever line. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. And she stood there looking at it going, huh. I don't know, why am I doing cartoon voices for my mum? <laughs> Such a hateful dog. Did that work? Shut up, Wesley! <laughs>